This slide is, uh, dis is uh, discussing what happened uh, at the meeting that you'll see soon uh, on September 9th, 2019, where Diana Reeser uh, went to the, uh, during the public uh, comment section, uh, discussed the fact that her comments were not accurately reflected in the minutes. And so I wanted to display this and give you my opinion on what's going on here. So on the left, you can see where David Costable, a, a, a reporter for the Reading Eagle, uh, an excerpt from his article, uh, basically reporting what Mrs. Reeser said during her public comment period. And then below, to the right, you can see what Mr. Casadis and Mr. Granger decided to put in the minutes. And it clearly has no representation to what was actually said. And I'm very, very disturbed about this. You should be as well, because at least with public comments, it should be as clearly articulated in these minutes so that the public knows what other private citizens are communicating to the board. And the fact that Mr. Casadis has his opinions interjected into this public comment period is a further indication of how much of a control freak he, he probably is. He cannot help himself by interjecting his comments into the public comment period. So what can we do about this? I'm not sure. All we could do right now is expose what's going on and hope that we'll see change. We have two non-elected supervisors who are running for election in November. They're sitting there they see the same thing I do. They see the same thing that all of you are seeing, and yet none of them step up and comment about the inaccuracy and the unfairness of what is going on. And the problem is, if you go into that room and you criticize the chairperson or the work that the Board of Supervisors are doing, uh, you basically become a potential uh, enemy and you can expect to be attacked at some point in time, particularly if you show up more than once. And this was the second time that I saw uh, Mrs. Reeser attend a meeting. She's one of, the, of a new group of, of citizens that are starting to take an interest in what's going on in our community. And I hope more people will do that. Uh, it's, it's very dramatic at these meetings. I'll talk about that in a later slide. But uh, I hope we can get more people out there. I hope that you will go to the meeting and you will express your concerns about how the Board of Supervisors is communicating public comment to the rest of the public. So... Uh, Read what we've written here and uh, hope to see you at the meeting.